very big box for treats. No, it's actually a pretty small box. Yeah. And they're not very heavy. But since now I know that there are not only sweets in there, but also maybe ugly stuff. Ugly stuff? I'm happy. Why there are three chocolates here and I have not eaten any? Because I have. Hello everybody and welcome to my channel. So I'm again with company, but you already know them now because I have uploaded last week another video with Bettina and Nadine. They are friends and colleagues and we have done a nerd blog, horror blog unboxing last week. I will have the link down below. And what are we unboxing now? Japanese treats. So this is another subscription box from Japan and it's called Japanese Streets. I will have the link down below. And uh, you are more excited about this box, right? Yeah. <laughs> I'm a bit disappointed by the size of the box. I expected that it would be, I don't know, bigger and have more stuff. It's not heavy. Oh, okay. I don't know. But we can see. I have seen a few unboxes of Japanese treats and they were not bad. So it had usually six to eight, nine treats, mostly sweets, but also some other stuff. <laughs> Maybe some discussing calamari. I don't know why I focused on the idea that they have a chocolate calamari. Yeah, I can make you one. I don't know. I don't want the chocolate calamari. I like calamari, but I like the fry or real. Mm, so I don't want to open it. It's a boring box. Who wants to open it? Bettina likes it. So how much did you pay for that one? Twenty bucks. Are you uh, looking at me as if uh, I know? I, uh -huh, I think, but I will have all the information down below. So I have not subscribed for uh, multiple months. We said that we will uh, try it first, and if we are happy. We can order it again, but there are others also to try. There are so many subscriptions that they deliver Japanese treats in the Western countries, Europe and US. It's crazy. And you really love the Japanese treats, right? Yes. But here we can find some. There is this. There is a Korean store in Zurich. I have said that multiple times that you can find some stuff. So what is that? I think is that the chick? Chick, that's the explanation. No, we will leave it there and we will... Uh, Okay, but it's not bad. That's now cool. it looks full. Yeah. So it looks quite full. Maybe we should just uh, take a screenshot like that and so we. Yeah. Everything is falling. <laughs> I think that's okay. Because if we open them. So we said that we will also try them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's just a challenge. Actually. Pick something out of the box. That doesn't look like sweets. No, no, that looks like chips, but that's fine with me too. We will do barbecue chips. They're barbecue Ooh. chips because there is a meat, mm -hmm. and I think that heart shaped, heart chip, and they have meat, and is that garlic? What is that? Looks. Yeah, it looks like garlic. Wait, no, you check. Like let me check. Heart-shaped corn-based snacks by Candy mm -hmm. Maker Whiskey. Mm -hmm. These snacks have a strong garlic and well, like, yakiniku flavor. Yakiniku is a Japanese term for when the grill meat, when they grill meat and garlic on the meat barbecue. That looks uh, very interesting for me. Yeah. I want a heart-shaped garlic meat chip, yes. corn chip. Mm -hmm. So it's actually the perfect thing for me. It's just oh my god, it smells like garlic. Like, <laughs> like you open it, it was like, oh! <laughs> they are very cute. They look like yeah, they're nice. Nice. Oh, yeah, they're really hard to change. Mine's broken. Oh. Mm. Mm, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I like it. Me too. I don't think it tastes that good. We are so bright now from the sun, we look like mm. angels. It's because we are. See, it's... Yeah. <laughs> you are a bit less hey. than her. Do you want to be an angel? You see? So we really like them, right? We like them, we like the we hard chip. Yes, we will eat them. All of them afterwards. Yes. But now, 
Now I will take something else out. What's that? That's a mini cola Orion thing that they have no idea what it is. Yeah. We will open. Uh huh. So it opens like a can of Coke. Open. Okay. I will just spray my nails. Are you okay, dude? It's like Tic Tacs. It's just. It's just Japanese Tic Tacs. I guess it's. Are they cola flavored? You should check. I, I would think so. Let me check. Mini cola candies that fit in your mouth. Mm -hmm. The flavor tastes quite a lot like cola and mm -hmm. comes in an adorable mini cola candy dispenser. The, the dispenser is adorable, but it's not something. It does taste like cola though. Mm -hmm. It's yeah. okay. But it doesn't fizz, right? No, it doesn't fizz. Oh. Because I like that a lot if it does. Me too, especially when I was a child. Yeah, but even now. But I'm still a child. Mm -hmm. It no. smells like cola, but it tastes it like cola, like and uh, there's a difference. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing pleases. Nothing really impressive. Should like. the next one. Hi, uh -huh, you break it a bit. Yeah, but not. But not really. Yeah. We didn't do a um, a close up of that. I will do some later, maybe. But the can is really cool. Yeah, great. So I took. What is that? They are three, so we will eat all three. Yeah. It looks like dice rings with a duck and a, a fish. That? That's a duck too, right? Aha, uh -huh, it's another duck. Oh, it is ducks. like that. <laughs> so there are three ducks, there are four ducks. There is nothing that is readable in any language. That, that we know. Would be with yeah. <laughs> okay. Ramune or Ramune, I don't know. It's a traditional Japanese candy with a grape flavor. These a grape or a grape? Grape. Uh -huh. okay. These Ramune awesome. candies can be used as a whistle in your mouth. Ooh, let's try that. I mean, we will try that. Yeah. And they look like that. So they have very, very cute ducks on. So mm -hmm. let's uh, try and eat the thing. Thank you. It's hard. Oh my god. Okay. 
are there what colors are there? I got the red one. Like I think there's a pink one, a red one, and a oh, green, green one. one. I like it. I want more. Yeah. And are the colors like indicated? I don't one? think so. No. Mm -mm. But they're very sweet. They are because of the caramel. And it's very weird, right? Caramel. I like apple. it a lot. And what you can it? really taste both of them. Mm -hmm. That is also strange. really nice. Mm -hmm. Although I still like the chips more. I want the chip. I cannot eat a lot of sweet things in a row. Here, here's one. Thank you. You want one too? Yes. Really good. Thank you. It, it smells more the chocolate mm. really nice. I want one of the big stuff. Here, that, that looks like chips too. Mm. So this is, uh, it says <laughs> slim bag, that's the only, oh my god, <laughs> after all this chocolate stuff, it really left a very garlic in mm -hmm. sense of my mouth. So this looks like really fries actually. Yeah. And there is a written slim bag, but I have no idea what it is. What it is? So it's called Franco Fried Potato, delicious long stick type fried potato snacks, made using Japanese potatoes and very lightly flavored with salt. I will also cut it in. Do you guys want some water or something? Yeah, maybe. Okay, so after my wonderful video helpers <laughs> lower the blinds and brought water, <laughs> we can open the chips. How did I fail to open them nicely even with the scissors? <laughs> now that smells really like chips though. Like fries. Oh uh, no, it's it's this tiny little chips, but yeah, it smells like fries. They look like that. And they all look like fries. Yeah. They're yeah. nice flat. They're tiny little fries. I like them. We can ha go and uh, have bring beers and eat the fries mm -hmm. and uh, sweets after. Oh yeah, they're real good. It's like brown. I like them. Mm -hmm. What was that? What was it yours? Potentially. Oh my. Two something while I'm eating the fries. This one. Because you think it's sweet. No. It has a pizza. It has a pizza on, so it's not sweet. And it's like the Italian flag coloring. It's very light. Hmm. But um, I, do you know the name of that guy? It's a very, very known Japanese character. But this is so light. What it's like it nothing. Be? I don't know. Open it. That's strange. Should, 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 should I read? No, I will Yeah, read. I will read. Umaimbo pizza, a very popular Japanese corn-based snack. New flavors are re released every couple of months. This time we have the pizza flavor. It looks like a, like one of those, you know, they have in the US, the cheese, the flips. Just yeah. Yeah. Ooh, that, that, that's not nice strange. <laughs> you have to Why? eat it. I will eat this. Ow. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Okay, we have to clean up that right? Of course we have to clean up that okay. Why did I manage to do it correctly without? I don't know. Mm. It's like a giant cheese puff. Mm -hmm. With a weird taste. Yeah. Not really bad. No, no, no not. No, I have expected. But I wouldn't. Yeah, I wouldn't purchase it. But it like it doesn't make any sense for me somehow because I wouldn't purchase it. Oh my god! Everywhere there are cheese puffs. Should puff. I get to? Yeah. No, we will survive. So oh, you should. Uh, keep on. Woo! There are a lot of stuff in. Yeah. Yeah. This what is that? I don't know. There's a dog on it. There is a whole story in that. Yeah. 
So there is uh, actually uh, an alien or bear soldier here, like a samurai, and someone, are they farmers? This is a very fun thing. Mochi taro, a bag of lightly salted mochi snacks with peanuts. This snack is from Ibar what? Ibaraki Prefecture, Prefecture, <laughs> north of Tokyo. North of Tokyo. Did you try it? No, it doesn't smell. It doesn't smell bad, though. No, just no. Bad. I'm not used to that smell. It is a very different smell, and it looks really weird. Where are the peanuts? It's peanut flavored. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. No, no with peanuts. I didn't Maybe see like, any peanut. I don't know. Thing. Is that peanut powder? Maybe. Maybe those are peanuts. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. This is good. I will open something soon. Oh my god. This is frozen cookies. Because these are Tum Tum. Do you know what Tum Tum is? Yeah, you once talked to me about them because you wanted one, right? I want them all. Oh, they are like round Disney characters. Oh. That they, they were created, I think, in Japan and now they have it in other places too. So they are called Moonlight and they look like cookies. And they have a lot of Disney Tum Tum on. So that looks really cool. Because we got a lot of uh, salty stuff, so maybe we can get. How can you also Delicious have? cookies with a white chocolate center. Mm -hmm. Artwork is sketched by Disney. The mm -hmm. artwork is really mm -hmm. cool. So, why did you call them frozen cookie? Because it's frozen from the movie oh. Frozen. That's Elsa. <laughs> oh my god, you're lucky Maya is not here. <laughs> How did I not realize? We have. <laughs> And snowman on our door. Yes, we do. Mm -hmm. In the office. And you didn't recognize that, you no, see? I have seen but I like how they come packaged really nicely and everything. Oh. The packaging is really cool. We have dessert with every effort to open stuff. <laughs> they look kind of sticky. Did they say what they have? White chocolate? White chocolate. Yes. So they're like double cookies, like that. And we have the chocolate and yours. And maybe they're not double, but mine were stuck and I got it like that. No, I, I think, think it should be. Shouldn't it be double? Mm. Mm. It's nice. Mm -hmm. No, that would be. I don't care. I eat it as a double. It's pretty good. I like white chocolate. I like it too. I just put it. I don't really taste a lot of the chocolate, but I like mm -hmm. the biscuit thing. Mm -hmm. It's a bit melted though. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but not horribly. No. If you think that it came from Japan. Mm -hmm. So we have a few more things. Choose yeah, something. Yeah. They have a lot of things. I will choose yeah. this one and then think it's. Oh, oh, there are two. There are two. It's a Kit Kat. <gasps> But from the packaging, I cannot say what is in there. Oh, wait. Because it's just like that green. <laughs> <laughs> it's a Kit Kat. That's it, bro. It's that green thing. <laughs> Can you see that? I don't know. Kit oh my god. This is a baked one. We cannot eat it. A baked one? This is a Kit Kat cheesecake bake. Bakeable Kit Kats. Huh. All you have to do is place them on foil and put them in the oven or oven toaster for one minute. And then you eat it. And it tastes like a cheesecake. But isn't there like chocolate around Maybe it? Maybe in the middle. That will melt. Not all the Kit Kats. I don't know, it doesn't say. You will have to do that when you're at home, right? Okay. Yeah. I will film it. I will get one. Mm -hmm. I'm very excited to know what happens. So we have three more stuff. They all look like sweet stuff. Yeah. 
No, no idea. Looks like chocolate. What is that? Um, wait. Black Thunder Gold. Oh my God. <laughs> Black Thunder is one of the most popular bars in Japan at the moment. They have just wow. released a newer version called Gold, which has extra chocolate chunks and is, huge, is a huge hit in Japan. Extra chocolate? Yeah, extra chocolate is nice. This one piece. We can break it and shape it and eat it. I like this. I like this too. Also, oh, yeah. It's a bar. Why everything is a small size? It's melting. It's a, just <laughs> it's break just it and eat. Here. We will just break it and eat it, and then we will go and wash our hands. Does mm -hmm. it not eat it? Yeah. Does it have peanuts in? No. Oh, I love to eat peanuts. No. I'm good. I like them. Wait, wait, I don't know if they have peanuts in them. They just have coconut in mm -hmm. It's nice. It tastes like from It's coconut I like it. Mm -hmm. I actually like it a lot because it's not a lot of coconut. But a little bit. Cool. But I need to wash my hands. Mm -hmm. So, second to last, there is a choco ball, a choco ball thing. It even has a puzzle on the side. Oh, it looks really, really childish. It looks really cute. So I guess these are little choco treats. Chocolate coated balls with a caramel center from Morinaga candy maker. <clears throat> I mean, the caramel center is always good. Yeah. Oh, the I character know. for choco balls is Kiyoko Chan. I don't know him. I feel bad, but I do not know him. And you can make them like that. I always like the packaging that is like that. It's a cool packaging. And they are not melted. Not yet. <laughs> but they're very soft. I'm not a huge fan. Mm -hmm. They're not bad. No. But they're not that good. Mm -mm. I think the caramel is very artificial. Mm, and it stuck on your teeth. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm making some of the salty stuff that I like more. Mm -hmm. I actually like the stuff, salty stuff more. And the Maltesers, they were good. Although they were sweet, they were good. No, the not the, the M&M's. Aha! Uh -huh. yes. And the last thing in the box. It's the Pokemon chewing gum. Pokemon gum for sale in Japan only. So this is the grape flavored Pikachu gum. I yeah, like. Yes, I really. That's a good thing that we left the gum. You don't appreciate Pikachu enough. Mm, I, I love. Oh, there are three pieces. Oh, that's perfect. How did they know? They have three pieces of everything, or we managed to make three pieces of everything. <laughs> Mm, they don't have sweet tea cut. Mmm, I like that. Yeah, that's nice. What was your favorite? Mm -hmm. The chips, yeah. I really like the garlic chips, they were nice. I also like this. Oh, and, and the wisp ring thing. Uh-huh, that was mm -hmm. nice. But as a taste, I would say the chips. Mm -hmm. This and I also like the M&M's and the cookies. Mm -hmm. The others were a bit. I mean, the chocolate was not bad. No, but these are also nice. Yeah, and we don't know. I will. Um, I will do the Kit Kat thing and I will insert the salt clip and see. But I think I would be willing to try that again. Yeah. Because I have seen a few unboxings and they didn't. They don't always put the same stuff. Hopefully, if it's like, is it the box you can? You can get many times, yes. So I mean, yeah, yeah. They should change, right? Yeah, that's actually quite good. Mm -hmm. That was fun. So okay. I will have the information down below, and leave us comments if you have ever tried any Japanese treats and things like that. The my favorite one, because as I said, we have this Korean Japanese Korean store in here, mm -hmm. is the Kit, strawberry Kit Kat. And the, the strawberry pandas. Mm -hmm. I, I have sake kit kat so nice. It tastes not that nice. It is cool, but it's not like strawberry makes everything better. I thought you liked the sake because it's a bit spicy. 
Yeah, but it's chocolate. Yeah. Okay. But that was nice, and I like the fact that it had also uh, savory things. So that was for today's video. If you liked the video, please push the thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. And leave us comments down below. I'm trying to convince Bettina to do a uh, makeup tutorial so I can um, make her makeup blindfolded. <gasps> blindfolded? That would be cool. Yeah, but also a bit scary. What I would like poke my eye. I know that your face. I know where the stuff is. You see how good I am already? Yeah. I am really, really good. <laughs> So if you would like to see something like that, leave us comments down below. I can also do that to Nadine. Nadine does excellent hair. So we can... Yeah, why? You do? Really? Yeah. Do. So we can make an up do. We can do something. So leave us suggestions. And tell us if you would like us to order more treats. I mean, it's nice. We can eat and they can just watch. Yeah. For yeah. us, it's pleasant. For us, it's great. It's great. <laughs> So thank you for watching and see you at the next video. Bye!